But you got to worry about the rotor making contact with the snow, and if that happens, then look out. Yeah, it's a different ending to that story. Yeah. Storm Team 2 Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis. Uh, my lawn needed a lot of water. Uh, mine did too. It's drinking up a lot today. And I saw, I was up in Miami County yesterday, went up to Troy to uh, see my sister, and, and the cornfields were just, you know, shriveling up from the dryness. Not the case anymore. Not as thirsty today. That's right. We've been getting some beneficial rainfall. If we can keep the severe weather away, that'll be just perfect. But let's see what's going on out there this evening. Let's take a look at conditions around the Miami Valley. 70s uh, expected this evening. We'll actually see temperatures recover a bit as we get some breaks in the clouds, but we'll see a, probably a 10 degree variation over the Miami Valley, anywhere from the upper 60s to the upper 70s. And still more scattered showers and thunderstorms rumbling through the area uh, through the evening hours. Now, we'll probably get a break in the rain late night, but still a chance of some excuse me, showers tomorrow morning. And then we'll see those scattered showers and thunderstorms again tomorrow, but only expecting temperatures to get up to about 75 to 80. We have a tornado watch in effect until 9 o'clock. Still worried about some heavy rain. We had a tornado warning earlier for a storm up in Blackford County near Hartford City, Indiana. Now just a severe thunderstorm warning there. Uh, this line that's uh, impacting this area will be swinging into western Ohio. And the Threat of severe weather will continue even in the areas where there are no severe thunderstorm watch or tornado watches at this time. Tornado watch in effect until 9 o'clock. That includes uh, Richmond, Eaton, Dayton, Xenia, southward down to Cincinnati. Showers, thunderstorms around over the weekend, and as mentioned earlier, Dragons 5K tomorrow morning. Better have the rain gear handy, upper 60s to about 70, but hopefully the lightning will stay away. And even some breaks uh, in the precipitation, so there still could be some periods of dry weather over about that one hour time frame from 8 to 9 a.m. Rain chance drops slowly as we go into next week. I uh, mentioned there that we do have a warning in effect up in eastern Indiana with a line of storms progressing east tonight. And taking a look, this, this is what's interesting because we've had all the cloud cover, the rain cooled air. So what that's doing, limiting the instability here. We actually even have some of the cool air flowing back uh, to the west out into eastern Indiana. The problem is this red area, Indianapolis is at 90 degrees with dew points up around 70. So we've got a battle of a couple of air masses here. The other thing going on, some nice turning of the wind. We can get this going. This helps get us some rotating thunderstorms uh, with these southeast winds moving up into eastern Indiana, southwest winds over western Indiana. Uh, so we've had a pretty good line of storms develop. Uh, showers, thunderstorms pushing through. You can see some of the heavy rain that passed across Miami County this afternoon. Some breaks in the clouds to the west. And our forecast rainfall here as we go through tonight, uh, still looking at the potential for anywhere from one to maybe two inches of rain in some of these heavier storms that continue to push eastward through our area. So uh, the beneficial rainfall continues. There's that severe thunderstorm morning in effect until 4.30. You can see that line uh, that's four in that hot, humid air out over central Indiana. The question is, how much will it intensify or weaken as it moves into that cooler air over western Ohio? Storms Prediction Center right now says they do not anticipate extending the tornado watch eastward into our area because of the cool air mass that's in place. Uh, but still some heavy rain coming through, still some rumbles of thunder here over Montgomery County, some moderate rain with the stronger storms passing into central Ohio. And then we had the tornado warm sto warned storm north of of uh, Muncie, Indiana, and severe thunderstorm warning southeast of Fort Wayne, uh, continuing up there around Jay County and also Blackford County. Here comes that cold front pushing east tonight. Tornado watch is in effect this evening. Also watch out for the potential for some flash flooding and some of this heavy rain, especially to the south of us uh, as we go through the evening hours. And then this slow moving low, it's going to be hanging around. Keep the chance of showers and thunderstorms going into the weekend. Showers, thunderstorms around tonight. Some of those could be severe early on, 66 the low, more showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, upper 70s, and we'll find temperatures climbing up into the mid-70s around noon tomorrow, on and off, showers and thunderstorms again throughout the day, high chances of rain into Sunday, even a pretty good chance into Monday, but at least we get some breaks in the clouds, and then 86 on Tuesday, 87 Wednesday as the rain chances decrease, we get a little more sun, but still the chance of some thunderstorms. Cold front due to arrive about Thursday, that could bring us more thunderstorms. Behind the front toward the end of next week.
we could be getting back to some nice weather for the weekend, lower humidity air. Eventually, and yes, that'll be nice. So for the rest of the night, though, people just kind of need to be. Yeah, just keep an eye on things. Um, again, with a for, we're, we've been fortunate that we didn't get a yeah. lot of sunshine midday. If we would have, we'd been in that hot, humid air, and we'd have much more in the way of a tornado threat this evening. But we still have to keep an eye on those storms coming out of central and eastern Indiana. See how quickly they weaken as they move into that cooler air. All right, yeah. stick.